What is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, we're officially with the one and only Kamikaze Mark. We're gonna put the stick out. We're gonna start a day early. So we ran 18 miles out and uh, we're gonna deploy the stick. No bus could go. Kamikaze Mark could go, so perfect. Put the stick out. With any good fishing trip, if you wanna get something, you have to give something. We're trying to get something, so let's give something. You gotta feed the sea god. I tell you what, this guy, he loves his family to bees. Or it might be a girl, who knows. He loves his family to bees. Let's get him in the water. And uh, let's start fishing. Let's get this stick out. So we got our first pass of the slip. We got here early, Peter Dews. No one else is here. Mark's doing his thing right now. I right think there. we're on. We're on. Yeah. Small fish though. Keep going. Keep going. You might come off. That small one's already seen the bounce off. You still on? It's off I though. I think we're on. Too. Small one though. Yeah, small one. Come on, right? There's some big marks over here. First pass by the blue. We didn't get a good pass by it. And something small jumped on. Not what we're looking for, but there's something on there and it couldn't shake off. Not really strong would shake off, but I guess something can come off. Something a small aku. We'll see. Ooh, see if white wash at least. Okay, Mark, you got it? Small sheep, you get a mark. Get a mark. Let's see it. There we go. Nice one. Small sheep. Ah, good for there. I'll keep it. Small yellowfin tuna. All right, Ooh. keep blood water in your mouth first thing I want to wake you up. All right, sun is coming up. It's a beautiful morning. All right, so you get a good pass by the boy now. Let's get a good pass by the boy and see what happens. All right, down there working the stick. Oh, I think we're on. Yeah, you're on. Yeah, you're on, oh yeah. <laughs> That's another one. Small sheep, though. Yeah. Another one on. It's all the small ones. We want the big ones. At least there's one Pokeball for each of us now, Mark. We couldn't resist. Look at this. A sheep or Aku? Aku. Aku. Yeah, Mark, let's see it. Oh my god. <laughs> well, at least we got bait. We find something good outside. We have bait, Mark. Let's see it, Mark. Yeah, you. Nice one. <laughs> Alright, two for two. These are the bigger ones. We want those little guys. Alright, go back around again. I think round four. Yep, yeah, you're on. We have an, another small one on number three this time. Hopefully it's still on. The little ones never shake off. We'll see. 
Don't grab the up, yeah? Small little guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. What's that, Aku? Another Aku. <laughs> Three to five. That's why they come off. I saw you didn't come off when the holy that they're not coming off. Alright anyway, let's get this thing put away and we'll see you guys back here shortly. Okay, you in the lures put out. Mark put 100 percent on that side. Put a blue semi snow globe on this side. Nice ice smooth jet on the middle. And we're gonna throw some of these aqua aqua lures on other poles. Anyway, right, let's see the poles out. We literally just got done putting them lines. As we're putting the last line out, we had a Marnie come in. How big it was. That's over 150, made 200. Come hit the nine inch jet, the ice through the center. Knocked it down, pulled it. I saw Lurgo fly, I saw Martin jump. When he came off, he didn't stick. He must have missed the hook. I was literally going like three knots, putting on lures, so. No idea. We're ready for that one. Ah, yeah, Mark. You were ready for that one, huh? <laughs> Not first thing in the morning. All right. Oh. Let's see what we can find. So that was definitely a nice little wake up call from Mark this morning. 907. We left the Bill Lago, about 24 miles out right now. Uh, looking for birds, we didn't find nothing. We just saw our first bird pop the day. I see over 100 birds and it's where that cloud right there, that cloud, it's right line with that. So we're gonna keep going that way. I hope we'll be there shortly, guys. About a mile and a half away. See what's going on, we'll get there. Mark's ready to do some work. So we found the bird pond in the distance. They literally all broke up and sat down so we get there. So it is 10.20 in the morning now. We're still going 29 miles and we're still pushing out. We're probably gonna push out to about 35 miles and slide up from there. It's actually a super nice day for Haleiwa. This is a beautiful day for Oliver. I think it's going about 10 to 15, maybe gusty a little higher, but like a three foot sea swell, which is nothing. You could have asked for a better trolling water day. Like this is literally the best trolling water conditions for sure. Nice little chop on the water, breaks up your lures. Nice, gotta love it. All right, buddy, today, I have a feeling we're gonna on the beach soon. We're gonna put Mark to work today. So we'll see you guys soon. I hear about it. 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 I Give time, Mark. We're good. We got time. All right, we got one on. Let's clear some lines. We'll be back shortly. Let's go on. The blind. So we got the lines cleared. We turned down C. The shoe is able to keep them tight. So time to go neutral. Bring them back. Let's go slow, yeah? Take your time. We know you rush. At this time, I realized it's a marlin and now the game plan has to change because if it feels like I with gaff it, it's a marlin we have to bang stick it so I have to get some slack let it drop back while I get the bang stick ready a 44 always does the trick so this little guy literally gave us the hardest time ever it was literally one of the most feistiest mornings i ever caught this size and you know honestly for me i don't really care if i catch them on if i lose them just because to me they're so dangerous 
it's not worth the risk of somebody getting injured, hurt, or damaging the boat. So if I lose them, it doesn't really hurt me too much. But if I catch them, I don't have a problem with it. He's but this right, guy gave us a really, really hard time for sure. Boys, come on. He's still on. He's swimming again, boat. Crank, 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 Mark, Mark, crank. He's swimming with us. Yeah. Mark's first marlin. So we don't got to do with the first marlin, right? He's like, what? I was like, nothing. We can start our tradition, though. He's gonna double back again, this guy. Slow down now, Mark. Slow down to crank, yeah? Right ahead, right by, right behind his eye. Right behind his eye. Wait, hold on. Right there, right behind his eye. Get him, Mark. Come on, Mark. There you go, he's done. He's done, Mark. Good job. Got a towel, please. Towel? A towel behind the other stuff. I'll wrap his bill. I don't want his bill all. Scratch my boat up. Yeah, he's done. That's good. Okay, now hit the drag on the, hit the slap drag. Um, drag off on the drag a little bit. There we go. Okay, go fast for him. Okay, here we go. Good morning. Good job, Mark. The first morning. First morning. Yes, sir. Oh, what is that? Remora. Good job, first morning. Yeah, you. Whew. Told you, bank stick. Good job, I'm the bank stick. What is that thing right there? Romora. They stuck to the bottom of them and they, um, they eat their leftovers. Way harder than Ahi. Nah, it's because, yeah, I take my time with these. Oh. I, don't, I don't rush these. Oh, you let them fight? Yeah. I'm not going to rush these guys. These are too dangerous. Yeah. It's a blue Marlin. Mark's, Mark's uh, trophy. Where's your trophy, Mark? Here we go. The 44 round. And the bill. And the bill. So we have to brine that guy, we got him cut up, got his uh, gill gutted, we got him cut, we got him brined with salt water and ice because tomorrow's Saturday, tomorrow's the auction. He has to make 10 by tomorrow, if he doesn't make 10 by tomorrow, he has to wait till Monday. That's going to affect the price. It's 1 o'clock now, we have plenty of ice, we should be able to get him down to 10 by tomorrow by 40 degrees, hopefully. That's over 14 hours, 15 hours, I think we can do it. So we'll see, we're going to brine the crap out of him. But, uh, we got to clean it up, we're still going down, see? Um, I'm gonna put the poles out. Mark's gonna take his uh, union water break because Mark's kind of tired. <laughs> <laughs> First Marlin. Yeah, all right, we'll see you guys back in shorty. We'll put some lines back out. So, 100% pulled the bite. It's good. That line, that line is toast though. Yeah, where you are here, you can feel it. Yeah, the whole way up, y'all fray. Yeah. Yeah, funny we use this one. 100% is done for today. Jin Kai Lure, uh, Jin Kai Lure, 300 pound test. Links are in my bio. Tell you what, I told you before, I leave his bulletproof. I don't know. Caught a fish of a lifetime for him today. That's your first, that's your biggest fish today, yeah? Yes, sir. A fish of a lifetime right there. All right, good job, Jin Kai. Good job, Mark. So for all the stuff I use, uh, links are in my bio. I get from highfishgear.com, local tackle shop. Use a raw five code to get 5% off. Support local. If you're in Hawaii, you order, you can't the next day. It's like five hours shipping. Who can't beat that? If you're in the mainland, it might be a little more, but you know what? There's Hawaii meat products that you can't get really anywhere else but Hawaii. And for you local guys, there's a lot of stuff he brings in that nobody else carries, which is super epic. Check them out. Uh, keep the lines back on. We'll see you guys shortly, boys and girls, for the dream. Never give up. It's one o'clock. See what else we can get. We are currently 39, 39.2 miles out right now. The wind shifted, it's blowing. Oh, God. <laughs> it's blowing, the wind shifted. And I think we're closer to Kauai. Kauai is right there. You can almost see Kauai. Um, but nothing out here, no birds, nothing. It's 2.30, we're doing a long way home. Long way home. We're just starting back to Oahu right now. Um, I hope we can find some other way back, because I'll tell you what, there is not much bird piles to be seen today. Oh, no bird piles. I saw one bird pile 
I left the monastery right before we got to it. I never saw a bird pond again. It's really windy today. Like, I'd say like 15 to 20. But the good thing is a small sea swell. Sea swell is only like two to three feet, so it's nothing crazy. It's a little wet ride every once in a while, but nothing, nothing too wild. Nothing the more little can on, that's for sure. All right, guys, we'll see you guys shortly. We definitely have the trip coming with the Marlin. We're taking the fish auction. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. We post new videos every Friday. And I'll see you guys shortly. Wait for Mark to get our jackets before we go up soon. Right? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Hollywood gets a little bit of a double up sometimes. And you might get a little wet. So let's go to the fish auction, we're gonna offload our fish and we're gonna see how good we do. I don't think there's too much fish today. Um, so we'll see how we do. We'll be back here shortly. Why do you want to help? So we just got done offloading the fish. Um, there's only two boats today. Prices should be extremely high today. We're the only local show dropped off fish today. Nobody else dropped off any fish yesterday. Um, fishing's been slow, it's been hard. Uh, but that Marlin gillin gut was 127 pounds. So probably with gills and guts, you probably came out 135, 137, somewhere around there. So we're about what I thought. So. But this should be good from what I'm hearing. We'll see. Should be able to pay for some fuel. So it wasn't too bad of a day. The Marne actually helped cover the expenses, which was which was definitely key for the day. I mean, fuel's expensive. You gotta watch what you burn, I guess, in a day. Um, but we sold the Marne was 127 pounds is gill and gut. So with gills and guts, it's probably about 135, somewhere around there. And uh, we got 460 a pound. And after the auction took their cut, we got 525 for that Marlin. So not too bad, you know what I mean? I burned some fuel, some ice, so me pocket like a hundred hours off a day so not too bad but like i always say support local there's a lot of commercial fishermen local fishermen in your area i'm sure that you know they survive off of fish like that that's hard work and what an all day like that to maybe we make what five hours an hour profit that's crazy so support your local fishermen um support the dream and uh if you guys remember from last video i had three giveaways here is the three giveaway winners for that. If you commented with a pelagic fish, you're gonna get lures. You commented with something else, you're gonna get a high fish gift card. You have one week to message me on Instagram, uh, or you can email me at morselures at yahoo.com, or my Instagram, which is right there below. Um, you have one week to do it before next week's video to claim your prize. And here's the winners. No particular order, random comment gender. Here's number one. So congratulations to that first winner right there. And here is winner number two. So congratulations to that guy. Drum roll for the for the number three winner, the final winner. Here you go. I guess that's it. Um, message me if you guys win. Congratulations to all the winners. Well, maybe next week we'll do another giveaway. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see another giveaway next week. We'll do something. Maybe lures on. We'll do something pretty epic next week. We'll see. Uh, next week's video is gonna be epic. You guys are gonna like that one. You guys definitely want to watch that one. Trust me. If you guys like eye fishing, you guys like light beating, you guys like green sticking, next week's video has all of that all in one. All right, guys, that's it. If you can, hit the subscribe, hit the like. We post new videos every Friday. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. As always, tight line, stay fishing. We'll see you on the water or under the water. And I'll uh, see you guys next week. It's going to be epic. Trust me. I'm going to get the kids from school. What all right, about bye. The you want this fish from the sea. The water's too murky, too hot to see. And the farmer man, he want to plant his car.